This is the next level racing FGT Elite 160. It's one of the company's top of the line sim racing cockpits, which unsurprisingly looks absolutely menacing. More than that, I've paired it with the brand new Nexlo Racing ESR3, a $250 recline seat that they claim is one of the best value sim racing seats in the market today. All put together, I've been using this sim racing cockpit and seat for several weeks now, and today I'm ready to give you all my review, going over all the good, the bad, and whether this really is the top of the line in sim racing cockpits. Keep in mind that if you are interested in purchasing this or any other Nexlo Racing product, you can take an additional 5% off using code OCRACING at checkout, and and several more discount codes on different brands are also available on my website. On April 27th, the OC Sim Series is making its return with the 12 Hours of Bathurst. That's right, 12 hours of grueling racing around one of the world's most dangerous tracks. This race will happen on Osseto Corso on PC using the RSS GTM GT3 pack and is open to you, the public, to sign up with the team and race. The full event will be live streamed here on my channel featuring a full day and night cycle and some exhilarating racing. So if you're seeing this before the 23rd of April, you can still sign up with your team by checking the links in the video description and we'll see you out on track. The next level racing FGT Elite 160 gets its name from its 160 by 40 mm aluminum profile beams, and continuing the theme from the original FGT Elite predecessor, it can also be adjusted to several driving positions, including Formula and GT, giving you the ultimate versatility and adjustability. From the start, this product comes packaged tremendously well with a single box containing everything necessary to assemble, including labeled nuts and bolts, a printed user manual, and another package housing the seat of your choice. In this case, the brand new ESR3, which I'll touch up on in a bit. Keep in mind that the integrated monitor stand you're seeing here does not come included, and this one in particular is not from Nexoil Racing, although they do offer one of their own. The aluminum profile beams came without a scratch and have a black anodized finish which looks great, albeit it's an absolute fingerprint magnet making filming this review a huge headache. Not a headache though was the assembly process as believe it or not I was able to build it entirely myself with zero points of confusion or uncertainty. Throughout this build process I also noticed a lot of very nice attention to details including branded end caps, a butt kicker mount, sleek branding, an allen key holder, cable management clips, and many more like shock absorbers bring feet, which I didn't mount on mine as I'm using this on carpet. The Elite 160 cockpit I have here is the wheel plate edition, which is my personal favorite as it's not only $100 cheaper, but it's also extremely convenient as it has never failed to mount any of the now dozens of sim racing wheels I've tested before. Keep in mind that this wheel plate, along with the shifter mount that have a powder coated finish, do scratch extremely easily even when just mounting up your gear. Perhaps next level of racing can find a solution here that doesn't scratch nearly as easily. Now as for its price, the next level of racing FGT Elite wheel plate edition cockpit is actually not so bad at $9.99 with free shipping if purchasing from their website, plus an additional 5% off using my code. Unfortunately at this price, no seat comes included but for only $250, the ESR our three seat does make an excellent choice. Unlike traditional recline seats, the ESR3 can be bolted down onto the included universal seat brackets, allowing it to maintain its reclinability and its seat slider, all while being fully adjustable in both the height and tilt, both of which being essential when switching driving positions. All put together, this seat and cockpit combo gives the most adjustability I've ever seen, and that's actually saying a lot. More importantly though, this height adjustability allows you to mount the seat high enough to see over the tall uprights that I've always complained got in the way in the past. It also gives a very high seating position, making it easy to get in and out, and also very realistic to what you would expect in many real-world road cars. 
On its own, it's hard to criticize the ESR3. While I always prefer the look of bucket seats for my sim racing setups, this recline seat shines in its quality and comfort. It's upholstered with synthetic leather, has a cool carbon weave pattern on the edge, and is legitimately very comfortable on both my lower back and upper torso. The only part that bothers me is this plastic insert on the headrest, which I did find annoying, particularly when lying flat or back in a formula seating position. As per the flex on the backrest, there is some, but it is heavily mitigated with the dual latch recline system. On track, once immersed and paying attention to the game, it wasn't very noticeable though, and overall, considering its $250 price tag, the ESR3 is easy to recommend. Now, looking back at the cockpit, it's important to keep in mind that although having the option to interchange between seating positions is great, the action of actually doing so isn't necessarily easy and it will require you to take out your Allen keys and spend at least a few minutes making all the adjustments. I also found myself having to make adjustments to my monitor and cable management when drastically changing driving positions, something that I realistically can't see myself doing often. So overall, while having this option is definitely good, I would be lying if I said that this is something I would be changing often, especially on those days when I just want to sit down, relax, and race after a long day of work. I am very happy to report that on track though, the next oil racing FGT Elite 160 is an absolute tank. Despite me trying as hard as possible to find any visible or notable flex on the pedal plate, wheel deck, or shifter arm, I honestly couldn't. The performance was certainly there, and the immersion was as well, with the various seating positions providing a unique experience, which I'll certainly be trying out with VR in the upcoming days. So all in all, from beginning to end, my experience with the FGT Elite 160 has been very pleasant, and I do think that for an aluminum profile chassis, it is pretty good looking. Although making adjustments is more tedious than competitors like the Track Racer TRX, the performance here when it comes to rigidity is superior, and for that reason, along with several I mentioned in this review, the next level racing FGT Elite 160, along with the new ESR3 seat, gets a strong recommendation from me, and I do think it's very competitively priced. With that said, I am open to hearing your thoughts in the comments below, so please let me know what you think of this seating cockpit. As always though, I hope you've enjoyed my honest review, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.